fun tonight. We're going to read some scriptures and maybe Brother Richard will stay here with us for that. <laughs> Y'all watch him. He's he not to sneak out that side down there. Well, you still got my back. <laughs> Psalms 105. He said, Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in the name, the holy name, and let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works that he have done, his wonders, and the <coughs> judgments of his mouth. Listen tonight, I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. As we go back to the first verse, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his name. We got we get, we're we so prone today to not call upon the name of the Lord. We try to work out things our own self and our own way, but let me tell you something. We must always lean on the Lord. Always. He tells us not to lean on to our understanding because right. we get in trouble when we when we start thinking about things and trying to figure out how to do things for ourselves. It don't really ever work out too good. But he said, make known the deeds among the people. That's something we should do every day of our lives. So let the people know who we are and why we call ourselves Christians. Do we know why we call ourselves Christians? No, you know. That's because we've been saved and redeemed by the blood of Christ. And that we should make known, he said, that we should be prepared to tell when we're asked a question, we should be prepared to tell right. those folks that ask us and let us be seen and, and known that we are who we say we are. He said, let the deeds be known, known among the people. Sing unto him. Wow. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. And talk of his wondrous works. I want to tell you something now. we got a lot to talk about. Amen. Amen. We talk about what God has done. We got a lot to talk about, folks. That's right. We look around us every day and we see things that God has blessed us with, blessed us richly with. Looking here tonight, and God has blessed me tremendously with, with each and every one of you. I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you tonight. I love you all my heart. Man, I tell you what, it's just it's so wonderful to see you here tonight that we can fellowship, we can talk and have a wonderful time. And, See Brother Richard swell up a little bit. He <laughs> said, Glory in the name of the Lord. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord tonight. I pray that there's something that's done in each and every one of our lives here at Paragon Baptist Church that will want to see, want to make you want to be a Christian if you're not. Something we say or something we do or something we show, the love that we show, it'll make you want to be like us. I pray that that's what your desire would be. Glory in His holy name and let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. I ask you tonight, seek the Lord. That's what He said. Seek the Lord in His strength and seek His face evermore. I'll tell you what tonight. We got so much to be thankful for. And I'm just going to tell you tonight as I stand here, it says, Remember his marvelous works and that he have done and his, wonder, his wonders and judgments of his mouth. I'm going to tell you something tonight. I thank God. I thank God for every moment he's ever given me in this life. Amen. Well, I tell you what, I look back and I, I see things sometimes. I wonder why God did this or why God did that. But as I look back now, I can see what God was doing. Yes. I seen His wonderful works and what He was doing in my life. You know, we question it sometimes, but God knows it all. He's sovereign God, and everything that He does, He does for a purpose. I want you to know that tonight. Everything He does. So I want to say tonight that I love the Lord with all my heart. Amen. I'm so thankful for all that He's done and all that He's given me in my life. He's given me a wonderful wife. He's Put up with me. Well, I tell you what, she went through so much since we've been married with me. Yeah, I know it's true. But I tell you what, I love her tonight, and I love each and every one of y'all. 
Anybody else got anything to be thankful for tonight? I do. I need to stop. I like to talk. Um, <laughs> but when it's about Jesus, God has changed me in the past few years. And I love him so much. I, first of all, I want to thank him for saving me. Amen. Um, I thank him for my church family. There were so many times that I've been in and out of this church in the past. Y'all could have turned me around and said, go on, we don't have nothing to do with just like Jesus should have done, um, but he didn't. He ain't done with me yet. I don't know what he's got for me to do, but so much more than what I'm doing now. I'm so thankful to just, I love each and every one of y'all. I just want y'all to know that. And um, I can't get into a lot of my testimony because he ain't done with it yet. So you can't, you can't do that. But I love the Lord with all my heart, and I love y'all. Amen. Brother Mike, I'd love to stand up and say I love the Lord. I love him with all my heart. I've been in and out with him <coughs> like I was five years old when I went to Assembly of God Church in Sylacauga and went through there for a long, long time and really, really learned a lot. And But then when I came here, God was here more than he was anywhere else I had been. And things just moved in, in ways that I never dreamed would be possible. But I love him now more than ever. I praise him now more than ever. I try to tell people about him now more than ever. But sometimes I know they get tired of hearing it. But that don't matter. They're going to hear it as long as I'm around them. Uh, but I love this church. I really do. Thoroughly. I love the people in it. Thoroughly. I love my pastor. And uh, I, just, I just want everybody in here to know that that I love all of y'all. Y'all have showed your love to me so much. And I feel like I haven't showed it as much as I should. I've not showed it to people that, that have turned around and showed me their love at times that when I knew that I needed it. And those people, there's three of them back there on the back row, by the way. I know a lot of them. But I, I can't, I can't really choose one anymore because God's given me all of them. Amen. So y'all stuck. <laughs> stuck situation. In front of my But I just had to, I had to do this. This has been on my heart ever since things went on in, in your life. And it, it, it was there saying that, hey, that's your pastor. You need to hold him up. You need to do things that, that he needs to do at times. And I just love everybody. Amen. That's worship, please. And um, I'm going to sit down now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start crying. And I don't do a good job crying. Amen. We love you, sir. We love you. Amen. Hey, there's someone else got something to thank for this moment. <coughs>
Amen, sister. Yes. We are you too, sister. Anyone else? Someone else. I'm thankful to God for I've got too many blessings to stand. I'll be standing up here all night long along with you. <laughs> but, um, but I just love him. You know, it's been, you know, we've had a rough couple of years. And his he's just his mercy and goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful that he hasn't given up on me. I'm thankful for my husband. He's too good for me. And my children. And I just love him. Amen. Amen. Is there someone else? No, it might be turn that Mississippi squirrel loose. There's <laughs> <laughs> not enough time to say how thankful I am, but y'all should be thankful for me because Brother Mike's picking on me and getting all y'all <laughs> <laughs> But, no, seriously, I'm mostly thankful for Jesus Christ. Uh, God sent his son that we have a chance for salvation. I'm thankful that he chose me. And I accepted him. Amen. And I'm thankful for that tonight. Uh, Y'all just don't know what God's brought me through. And we don't know what his plan is, but we have to trust God. That's right. And I believe in the power of prayer. This morning he called for the elders of the church to come up here and pray. I know what prayer can do. I'm a living example of what prayer can do. Mm -hmm. So let's continue to pray for our pastor. And let's be thankful for the time we have together. Pray one for another. Someone else. I want to stand and say I love the Lord. My heart is full. Without, there'd never be enough time for me to tell what all I was thankful for. I'm thankful I had parents that brought me to church. I started out in this church. I guess I was born to be born here. <laughs> and they raised me in church. And I'm thankful for that because they gave me the if it hadn't been for my parents, I don't know if I'd be here today. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful to have a church that loves everybody. Amen. And everybody loves everybody. And we're there for each other. But I'm thankful we got a pastor that when he needs prayer, he'll ask for prayer. Amen. And he's not too proud to stand up there and ask for people to come and pray for him. But mostly I'm thankful. Someone else. Well, I can't sit still. I'm a talker too. But I just want to say that I'm thankful for everything God has done. He has delivered us through some tough times, and He will deliver us through some future times. We've just got to keep trusting. That's right. And I love Him for saving my soul. <laughs> and somehow or another, for making me a pastor's wife. <laughs> but that's the best part of the dog in this home. But I love all of y'all. And if y'all ever need us, just call. Amen. We'll be there. Oh, uh, Amen. Amen. You know, Brother Apostle John wrote, he said that uh, everything was recorded that Jesus had done, the world itself could not contain it. And you know, that's where I feel about what God's done for me. It's nothing that I've done or, or anything. It's what he's done for me. Amen. And that while I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me. I was unworthy, undeserving. And I thank him for his grace, his love, and his mercy for extending his love back to me. I want to thank him tonight. I am very thankful for what God's done for me, for what God's done for my family. Amen. Thankful for my church family. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Is anyone else?
Amen. I'm thankful for the Lord. I love the Lord for His grace and His mercy He had for me and saving my soul. And I'm thankful for my church family also. So y'all welcome me in and allow me to be a member here. And I love each and every one of you. God bless you. Amen. We love you too, brother. Amen, brother. We love you. Anyone else? <laughs> Amen. Well, I got something else to say tonight, and it, it just came on my heart when he was talking. <laughs> <laughs> this church, I can't say enough about it. I do. I say enough about it. I think outside the church, but then people know where I go to church and, and who my pastor is and who my fellowship, who I get to fellowship with, which is nobody has any better people than we got. Amen. And um, God just turned me on tonight and I'm sorry. I don't I don't mean to I don't mean to be taking nobody's time or or, or anything, but it's just it's awesome the feeling pop. Does anybody else have that feeling? Yes. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's all over me. I can't. I, I can't Man, that's good. That's control good. it. I mean, it's God's there. That's good. And um, but anyway, I just I want everybody in this church to know that I'm here for anything that you need. I'll be. I if, don't ever have to stay home by yourself. If, if you don't, if you're not feeling good or, or anything like that, or just pick up the telephone, but you can't pick it up right now because I don't have one. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, it's true. I don't. But um, <laughs> so if y'all tried to call me, you can't get me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm fixing to shut up. <laughs> Listen to everybody else. <laughs> you know okay. you know. All right. Sister, we'll find you if we need to. <laughs> we know where you stay. Though. We know where you stay. <laughs> I let you know that. Amen. And there's someone else tonight. Brother, I just found some solid I like to look back and see where I used to be and where I'm at now. You know, and two totally different people that I was. And he's given me so much to be thankful of. You know, I, like everybody else, I stand here all day and tell him, you know, but the most, you know, he gave me a wife that loves me to death, and kids that I couldn't do without. But South man, he gave me a home here at this church and a family inside this church Amen. that means the world to me. Amen. And I just want to thank you. Amen. Amen. Get started. You can't quit, can't you? <laughs> There's someone else tonight. Amen. If not, I don't want to deprive anyone. But if not, we're going to stand.